In this topic, we're going to be looking at how speed cameras, such as this one, work. In order to do this, we need to consider waves. We'll be looking at different types of waves, such as longitudinal and transverse waves, as well as mechanical and electromagnetic waves. We'll be looking at what happens as a wave approaches a boundary. It can be reflected or transmitted or a combination of these two. Speed cameras use radar to detect your speed. The speed camera sends out radio pulses. These are reflected off your car and sent back to the speed camera. The speed camera can look at the frequency of these reflected waves and from this it can work out how fast your car is going. In order to understand how the movement of your car causes a frequency shift, we're going to be looking at the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect also explains why the pitch of an ambulance changes as the ambulance passes you. You will have noticed the higher pitch as it approaches you and then the lower pitch as it recedes. We will also look at relative velocities. This will help us describe situations such as a police car chasing an offender's vehicle from different frames of reference. Please don't put this part into practice. We're going to be looking at ultrasounds. Ultrasounds use completely different types of waves. Sound waves, a type of longitudinal mechanical wave, whereas the radio waves used in speed cameras are transverse electromagnetic waves. However, the physics involved in an ultrasound scan is very similar to the physics behind how a speed camera works. Let's get started.